What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this mosaic effect in Premiere Pro. Let's dive into it! Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Here we are in Premiere Pro and really to achieve this effect is it's almost one click away because you need to drag in an effect from the Premiere Pro library and uh, then you're going to automate one parameter and that's that's it really. So this is the clip as it comes straight from the camera. It's a very clean clip, there is nothing. And I'm going to switch to the effects tab. I'm going to search for the mosaic effect and I'm going to drag this effect onto the clip. You can see that the effect is under stylize video effect. Now, what you need to do is you decide which one of the two parameters you want to automate and then you set the other one to a fixed amount. So for instance, in my short fashion film, I automated the vertical blocks, which is this bit here. And so I put the horizontal blocks to 300. Now, as if you go very high, you will see that the image, if you pay attention here, the image will get as crisp as the original. So as low as you go, and again, pay attention here to the source monitor, as mosaic -y the image becomes. So this is the effect you want to uh, animate. So I'm gonna set this to one, and then I'm gonna click on the toggle animation to set the keyframe. I'm gonna move like a few frames away, and I'm gonna set this to 300. This is going to set an automatic keyframe. Now, in order to make this transition smooth, I'm going to select both keyframes, right click and Bezier. And then I'm going to play with the curve. So let me just actually double click here so we can see better what's happening. Um, I'm going to twirl open this triangle and I'm going to play with the curve. I want to have a smooth transition. So. This is where the effect is at its maximum, and this is where the effect is basically non-existent. So I want the transition to happen almost all of a sudden in the end. That's why I go for this curve. And this is what I got so far. There you go. Now, what's really gonna sell this effect is sound, sound design. And so I'm gonna drag this effect in here which sounds like this. And you can see that the visual effect together with the, with the sound effect, they really play, play together very nicely. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell icon. So you will receive a notification every time I upload a new tutorial. See you next time.